In this video, we're going to be solving radical equations of the form of a times the square root of f of x is equal to b times the square root of g of x plus k. And in number one, it wants us to simplify each expression. In a, we have 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 all squared. And that's equal to 2 squared times the square root of 5x plus 8 squared. And that is equal to 4 times the square root of 5x plus 8 squared is 5x plus 8. And now we multiply 4 through the parentheses and we get 20x plus 32. And B we have 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 plus 3 squared. So now we have a perfect square trinomial and A is 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 and B is 3. So we have A squared 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 squared plus 2 times a, which is 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 times b, which is 3, plus b squared, which is 3 squared. And above, we already did 2 times the square root of 5x plus 8 squared. It gave us 20x plus 32 plus we have 2 times 2 times 3 is 4 times 3 is 12 times the square root of 5x plus 8 plus 3 squared is 9. And now we can combine our like terms. We have 32 and 9. So we can say that this is equal to 20x plus 12 times the square root of 5x plus 8 plus 41. In this box they give us steps for solving an equation of the form a times the square root of f of x is equal to b times the square root of g of x plus k and we'll go through these steps one by one in the examples to follow. And two they want us to find all real solutions of the following equation. The square root of x minus 16 minus the square root of x is equal to 4. And it wants us to format one radical on each side of the equation. So what we're going to do is add the square root of x to both sides and we'll have the square root of x minus 16 is equal to the square root of x plus 4. And now it wants us to square both sides. So we have the square root of x minus 16 squared is equal to the square root of x plus 4 squared. The square root of x minus 16 squared is x minus 16 is equal to, and we have a perfect square trinomial, so we're going to have the square root of x squared plus 2 times 4 times the square root of x plus 4 squared. And now we're going to simplify. So we have x minus 16 is equal to the square root of x squared is x plus 8 times the square root of x plus 16. And now it wants us to isolate the remaining radical. So we're going to subtract x from both sides and subtract 16 from both sides and we get x minus x is 0 and we have negative 16 minus 16 is negative 32 is equal to 8 square root of x and now we can divide both sides by 8 and we can get the square root of x is equal to negative 4 and now I'm going to square both sides so I'm going to have negative 4 squared is equal to the square root of x squared and we get x is equal to 16. 
and now it wants us to check and see if 16 is an extraneous solution and write a solution set. So we're going to plug 16 back into the original equation. So we have the square root of 16 minus 16 minus the square root of 16 is equal to 4. 16 minus 16 is 0. So the square root of 0 is also 0. And we have minus the square root of 16 is 4. And that is not equal to 4. So this is false. So our solution set is empty. In B, we have the square root of 4x minus 3 minus the square root of 5x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And it wants us to format, so we're going to put one radical on each side of the equal sign. So I have the square root of 4x minus 3 is equal to the square root of 5x plus 1 minus 1. And now we're going to square both sides. So we have the square root of 4x minus 3 squared is equal to the square root of 5x plus 1 minus 1 squared. And on the left side, we're going to have 4x minus 3 is equal to, and now we're going to have the square root of 5x plus 1 squared minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 times 1 plus 1 squared. And now we're going to simplify. So 4x minus 3 is equal to the square root of 5x plus 1 squared is 5x plus 1 minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 plus 1. And now I'm going to move all of my terms except for the term with the square root to the left side of the equal sign. So I have subtract 5x from both sides and I end up with 4x minus 5x is negative x. And then I have negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 is equal to negative 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1. And now I can multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of all of my negatives. And when I do, I get x plus 5 is equal to 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1. And now we're going to square both sides. So we have x plus 5 squared is equal to 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 squared. And we get x squared plus 2 times x times 5 plus 5 squared is equal to 2 squared times the square root of 5x plus 1 squared. And this is the same as x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to 4 times 5x plus 1. And now I want to distribute the 4 through the parentheses on the right side of the equation. So we have 20x plus 4. And now I'm going to subtract 20x and subtract 4 from both sides. So I get x squared minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. And then I'm going to write this in linear factors. So I get x minus 7 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. So my possible solutions are going to be x is equal to 7 and x is equal to 3. And now we want to check and see if 7 and 3 are extraneous solutions. So we're going to put 7 and 3 back into our original equation. So 
So when x is equal to 7, we have the square root of 4 times 7 minus 3 minus the square root of 5 times 7 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And we get 4 times 7 is 28, so we have the square root of 28 minus 3 minus the square root of 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. 28 minus 3 is the square root of 25 minus the square root of 35 plus 1 is 36 is equal to negative 1. And square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 36 is 6, and 5 minus 6 does equal negative 1, so this is true. And 7 is going to be part of our solution set. And then for x is equal to 3, we have the square root of 4 times 3 minus 3 minus the square root of 5 times 3 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 and then 4 times 3 is 12 minus 3 is 9 so the square root of 9 minus we have 5 times 3 plus 1 is 16 so square root of 9 minus the square root of 16 is equal to negative 1 square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 16 is 4 and 3 minus 4 does equal negative 1. So this is also true. So our solution set is going to be 3 and 7. And that's our video on solving a radical equation of the form a times the square root of f of x is equal to b times the square root of g of x plus k.